Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Deus Ex for PC. Let's see if Maggie has anything else to say. From up here, the city is scenery. A mountain that never changes. But everywhere the sands are shifting. We cannot know who to trust. The police, even our own families. I could look around, try to learn something about the Luminous Path. All the necessary evidence is at the police station in one Chai Market. If only the police would act. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and check out the police station in a little bit. But for right now, I'm not completely trusting of Maggie, given what I've heard about her. So uh, let's do our own investigation. And if we read this data cube, we see that she has two book, uh, two favorite books called Insurgent and Typhoon. Believe it or not, that is actually kind of important information. And the only thing that we get in this room is a credit shit, so we might as well go ahead and grab that. And if we come into this room, we got a few more data cubes. This one's saying that she changed her password, which was previously Typhoon, the name of one of her books. So it stands to reason that she changed it to the name of her uh, other favorite book being Insurgent. So, uh, yeah, looks like that worked. And not really much of a need to disable any of the cameras. Let's just go ahead and open up a few doors here. And uh, if we read this data cube, we can see that her birthday is July 18th, which is also important information. Okay, Maggie's just going to chill there for a little bit. Let's go around this corner. We got a paper lantern just hanging out right there. Seems like part of the normal decor, but if we interact with it, yeah, secret passage. Now, we want to crouch while going through here because this is a metal floor. And, uh, yeah, there are troops here. What kind of troops? We'll find out in a second, but we don't want to alert them. Okay, if you didn't use the insurgent password, you could have used the three-digit code 718 in order to unlock the door right here. 718 uh, uh, being July 18th, which is Maggie Chow's birthday. Okay, quietly now. Aw, oh, shit, it's MJ12. I have been observing you through this fascinating device in your skull. You have found the proof we needed. The Dragon's Tooth Sword. There, inside the glass case. If you wish to be my ally, you will retrieve the sword and await my instructions. Okay, so it looks like Maggie did steal the sword. We got this glass case right here. Uh, there's two ways that we could open it up. We could use that, pa that PC right there and use the insurgent password in order to open it up. Or, once again, we could use Maggie's birthday, 718, in order to open it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, read this data cube and wait for this glass case to lift up good now take the sword to Max Chin at the Lucky Money Club if you can make peace among the triads then perhaps I can help you in your difficulties Okay, so we have the Dragon Tooth Sword. Very powerful weapon, and uh, yeah, they're going to let us keep it, so we're going to hold on to that. It's going to become very useful, not necessarily as a weapon, but for other things. So we have one of those holographic messenger things that we saw uh, Manderly talking to Walton Simons on. Maybe somebody left Maggie a message. Ah, oh, crap true. him. We are reassigning you temporarily. Put the long-term agenda on hold until Versa Life has met its deadline. It will be months and probably years before the Red Arrow can influence Beijing, whereas, well, I'm sure you heard about my appointment. We are in position to make a grab for Washington. We can't let this one slip through our fingers. Make sure the process stays on schedule. Okay, so that is bad, bad news. Apparently, Maggie Chow is a member of Majestic 12, if you didn't figure it out by the MJ-12 troops chilling in the next room. Let's just quietly sneak past them. Careful not to hit those lasers or they will come running. Alright, as soon as we're back on the carpet, we can go ahead and start running again. And it looks like Maggie is gone. Okay, let's get out of here. There's uh, an apartment building across the way that I want to check out. Quickest way to get there is just break the window open and just run right over. And we'll break into here now. Okay, whose apartment is this? Hey, if we read this data cube... Okay, well, uh, we seem to have a password for PC here. Let's go ahead and uh, use that. The pass the username is Flyboy, and the password is 5x5. Yeah, apparently, uh, apparently this is Jock's apartment. 
And if we go ahead and uh, read these emails, we get a little bit of plot. Feel free to pause the video to read it. Yeah, I know, usually when I'm doing a Let's Play and there's text in the game uh, that I'll read most of the text, but there's just so much in this game that it would just take, it, it would take absolutely forever. Okay, we got the nano key for it right here. Yeah, so, yeah, lots and lots of text. It would take forever for me to read it all. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'll be the first to say that this Let's Play that I'm doing does not do this game justice. But no one playthrough actually does. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely a game that you need to experience on your own. Play through your own style. Anyways, we're going down this elevator. If we crouch and uh, push up against the wall, we find a little hidden passage with a switch right there and a human skull. Don't really know the point of all this. I'm going to assume that it's actually part of a scrap side quest. All right, so we're heading back to Wan Chai Market, and even though we've proven pretty much uh, that... Uh, Maggie did in fact steal the sword. She seemed very, very adamant about us going to the police station to uh, prove her quote-unquote innocence. So uh, I'm definitely curious as to exactly why she would want us to do that. Anyway, this requires one lockpick or we can just smash it with our very powerful uh, Dragon Tooth sword. Yeah, that's what we're going to be using this thing for is uh, just smashing stuff okay let's see you got uh yeah requires one multi-tool to go through here let's see what we got inside oh we got some uh, area location bonus points if we read this data cube we can see that the uh code for the police substation is 911 go figure even though i don't know if they have 911 in other countries i don't know how do you call the cops in other countries what's the phone number here in the United States, I know it's 911. <laughs> you think I know this? I've been to foreign countries, but I've never really had much of a need to call the cops in a foreign country. Because I was on a military base. We had MPs. Okay, oh, you know what? I have some skill points. Let's go ahead and uh, take our low-tech weapons up to advance. Yeah, they're very powerful now. We're going to have a very powerful charger prod, that's for sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up with the code 911. And uh, go ahead and get our charger prod ready. I want to go ahead and make a uh, make a quick save right here, just in case I screw this up. Let's uh, run ahead, zap him. And he has an assault rifle that we can't pick up. Oh well. Let's get our pepper spray going here. Uh, let's see. Yep. Open up that door. Suck ass, evil doer. Well, he, he's not really evil. He's actually uh, he's a. Uh, what, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, God. I'm, like, losing track of keys on my keyboard. Smack! I don't know what happened there. Okay, what do you got? Pepper spray. Yeah, I told you sometimes it would look like I'm playing the game with my feet. Anyway, the evidence locker's down there. Maggie wanted us to go in there. She gave us the code 87342. Let's see what we got down here. Uh, there we go. Let's start reading data cubes. Well, that doesn't make much sense. This actually implicates Maggie in the theft of the Dragon Tooth Sword. It doesn't prove her innocence at all. Why would she lie to us? Oh, why? Yeah, if we come here without actually finding the Dragon Tooth Sword in Maggie Chow's apartment, uh, if we read the evidence here, find out that she's actually guilty, and we go back and confront her about it, she'll have the MJ-12 troops there ready to pounce on us. So, it's a trap! Okay, well, now that we know that she is, in fact, a complete and utter bitch, let's tell Gordon. She said no. Quick. You're right. Maggie Chow is a con artist. You have proof. Yes, I found the sword in her apartment. Good. Inform the Red Arrow Dragon Head. Then we will see who is the real traitor. Where do I find this dragon head? Max Chen is his name. The Red Arrow headquarters is at the Lucky Money Club in the mall area beneath the market. Come back and tell me what he says. We can begin to negotiate a truce. Okay, well, like he said, let's head to the Lucky Money and tell Max Chen, who's the leader of the other triad gang, the Red Arrow. 
show them that the Luminous Path did in fact not steal it, but actually one of their own confidants. Yeah, we're good. I need to use this pepper spray. Because we're going to spray these cops right here. And you get some too. Come on, start rubbing your eyes. Thank you. Okay, let's start knocking out the cops. Got one right there. And you're out too. Oh, wow. I thought I sprayed you. Eh, whatever. Okay. They don't really have anything I want to carry. There is a very good reason that I knocked out the cops. Uh, that's because I want to break into this quickie mart right here. Oh, well, you know what? Now that I say it out loud, it doesn't sound too benevolent, does it? Okay, so through the broken glass, I just wanted to hack into this thing. Because I want to disable all the... Uh, well, I want to open up all the doors. And I want to uh, disable the cameras. Okay, there we go. Well, we'll come and tend to uh, this later. There's still a little more information that I want. Let's go ahead and uh, go into the lucky money. Hmm, leather boots. For you, 25 credits of mission. Here you go. Perfect. I order you to stand in the spotlight and growl at the women like a dog who needs a master. Oh, God. Leather fetish much? Okay, let's start interrogating people. Good evening. Hello there. Do you know a man named Max Chen? Of course I know Max. A terrific fellow. Do you know where I can find him? In the back room. He runs the whole Red Arrow from here. Hey, you're not with the police, are you? I'll tell you later. Well, I'm sure that's reassuring to the poor hey, man. My God. Oh my god. Hello. Go on, there's one more guy I want to talk to. There he is. Good. I'm not your type. I just want to ask a few questions. A more. Look, I was here first. There you Chen go. told me himself. If there's a job, I get it. What kind of job? Just back off. I got fired at a quick stop next door without giving them warning. And I need a cash. Tough luck. Yeah, well, I'm going to give him back. And unlock into their computer. It's management, password, code 324. While well, I'm late nights, I'm gonna stick you there and charge all their records. What's a quick stop cashier doing working for the Red Arrow? And working it. Okay, so he gave us some information for the quick stop that we broke into. We're going to deal with that a little later. Have another drink? Alright, let's go ahead and talk to the bartender. Beer is 15. Wine is 120. I'm looking for Max Chen. With that side, what is it about? Maggie Chow sent me. Oh, the beautiful Miss Maggie. You'll find the dough just behind me. I'll get a drink later. Yeah, we lied to the guy because, well, they, they still think Maggie Chen is okay. And the bartender's name is Isaac. I'm betting that's a reference to Love Boat. You kids probably don't remember the Love Boat. Okay, let's see. Uh, if we come down here, there's a refrigerator with some stuff in it that we don't really need. Besides, it's not even worth the three lockpicks we'll sacrifice for it. Excuse me, sir. This room is off limits to club patrons. I suggest you leave. It's okay. I'm here to see Max Chen. He'll expect me. An American. I hope he likes what you have to say. He probably won't. Is letting anybody okay, let's hack things. into this thing real quick. Okay, all I want to do here is uh, unlock something near the entrance. Okay, Max Chen is right through this door, so we're going to speak to him and give him the bad news about Maggie Chow. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that OP show, and have a one that is good. Yeah.